We're in this series of uh, looking at the Bible prophecy concerning Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And we want to go to uh, our fifth point, which is that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is to be from the tribe of Judah. Now, we know that he was to be the seed of a woman, the descendant of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, and from the tribe of Judah. Let's look in Genesis chapter 49. And we look at verse 1, And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And let's skip down to verse 10, which he's uh, getting down to Judah. Actually, he talks uh, from verse 8. Let's go to verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? And now verse 10, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. This is talking about Jesus Christ being that one who is in charge, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And Jesus Christ, of course, is the Shiloh that came. Now, it's very interesting to see this prophecy. And it says, unto him shall the gathering of the people be. We know that in the latter days, in the last days, when Christ comes in his glory, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Until then... It was a small group, but it will be a large group, even great, greater than we can imagine in the future. Now, if we look in Luke chapter 33, and we were there uh, last time in looking at uh, uh, chapter 3, I should say. If we look in Luke chapter 3, we were there last time looking at the fact of a descendant of Jacob. Let's go to verse 33, Luke three thirty-three. Uh, the son of Abimadab, the son of Ram, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah. This is again the lineage of Mary, talking about the lineage of Mary. And this is on the mama's side. We see that he has this lineage of being from the tribe of Judah. This is where the scepter will not depart. And of course it won't depart because it is in the hands of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And so uh, we are looking at one, two, three, four, five prophecies this week. I'm not a mathematician. I, I couldn't give you the odds of this happening. But five things happening, specifically as it was foretold, astronomical odds that that would ever happen. Well, it's not astronomical when you think of it being supernatural, you see, because God himself made these prophecies. We've got a number of other prophecies to look at as well, and we'll do that, Lord willing, in the days ahead here on our prayer time get-together.